How far is someone willing to go to silence negative feedback from their customers? I want to share an experience with you I had very recently that negatively impacted my mental health and my work. I have agreed to leave the site, its owners and its products unnamed, but I refuse to sit quietly and not share my experience with others because it has affected me deeply. I recently left a negative comment and valid concern about an online store on their site. I didn't use any offensive language or inappropriate wording. Soon after, I received an email from the owner threatening to sue me for my negative feedback. They even went so far as to threatening a friend of mine because they believed my friend put me up to it. They were basically threatening me with libel, but that wasn't all. They told me they had been gathering information about my personal details in social media and threatened to publicly expose my full identity and details in a negative light to humiliate me and call me out on the situation. You heard me right. I was personally targeted, threatened and victimised in an act called extortion. Legal action and public humiliation was threatened against me if I didn't silence my opinion about the site. My right to free speech was threatened in an underhanded and very illegal way, a site owner attacking their own customer. I replied, stating that it was disgusting for them to treat me in such a way, and in response I got a second threatening email stating the same as the first, but in a more sarcastic and playful tone. The sheer nerve. I'm not going to lie to you. It crushed me. It made me feel abused and violated, and it shut me down. I felt scared and paranoid. I lost my appetite and I couldn't sit down to do the work I was supposed to do that day. I sought the help of some people with knowledge in legal issues and the laws and legislations in my country regarding such abusive behaviour. It helped to set my mind at ease a little more, but I was still shaken. I could, if I was inclined to, claim compensation for harassment and attempted extortion. But it's too much for me. I simply don't have the motivation or sheer effort to undertake such a retaliation. It's pointless. So, I choose to forgive and forget, in a sense. Needless to say, I won't be purchasing anything from them in the future. I refuse to be associated in the slightest with them from here on out. But I won't remain silent. I hope no one else suffers from the same treatment as I did from this site. But I can't say for certain it won't happen again to someone else. I feel drained. I was planning to make another retrospective library spotlight to release today, but I've had to push it back. I will upload it soon though, rest assured. I refuse to be a victim to such sickening behaviour towards a customer, and I refuse to regress or to let what has happened drag me down. There is, in essence, an important lesson to learn from all this. And it sheds some light on the difference between who I was when I was younger compared to who I am now. I was abused as a child, emotionally and physically. I was forced to conform to a rigorous schedule as I grew up, dictating what I was to wear, eat, talk about and learn. All written in a schedule book down to the minute. I wasn't allowed any friends who didn't attend the same place of worship as us. And I was severely beaten on quite a few occasions. I was taught that I am an object, and that I have no rights. But as time passed, I made the decision not to be treated as an object. I made a choice to never again let a person infringe on my rights, or intimidate me into submission using fear. It's the reason who I am, and the reason I do what I do today. I refuse to be baselessly threatened and silenced. I won't have it. But there's something else we're forgetting about here. Others. I may have become strong over time, but there are others who haven't gained that strength yet. Manipulation and abuse, whether it be by family, an employer or co-workers, a partner or a company, is a very real thing for many people. There are others who grew up in a similar condition to mine who haven't learned yet to take a stand. If you're one of those people or you know one of those people, don't stay silent. Don't ever think there's a justification for such things. Be intolerant of such abuse. Know your rights, seek help where it is needed, speak up about your situation and refuse to be a victim.
you are not an object. You are a human being and you have the right to stand up for yourself and what you believe in. Don't retreat into the dark. Do whatever it takes, within reason, to be free from persecution or abuse. Don't think your life has to be controlled or defined by any one experience. I chose to take this experience and empower myself with it, to use it as future fuel for creativity. I choose to be a positive example. If you ever find yourself on the receiving end of such behaviour from anyone, speak up about it and if needed, contact the appropriate authorities regarding the issue. Don't stay silent. We have our rights and no one has any jurisdiction over them. Keep your conviction and keep creating. Check you later.